Look who's awake. Boy, do we have a big day today. You can see the tail wagon through the bed. <laughs> hey, Jaha. I have to work today. Today's day one of two days of me being puppy Santa Claus. And you're going to Breck's house. I knew we'd get that reaction. You love Breck, don't you? He's your buddy. He's got a yard and he lets you run through it like a madman. You're going to Breck's today. Oh yeah, and guess what else we're going to do while we're at Brex? We got a drone waiting for us that we're going to play with. This ought to be a blast. And I already got your Santa suit laid out, sucker. You don't even know it, but you're going to be wearing your Santa suit today. Uh-huh. I'm not taking him to work with me, but since Breck lives a mile away, he's going to hang with Breck, and then Breck will probably bring him over to see me as Santa Claus so we can see what he thinks. So believe it or not, I think I may have actually figured out the ultimate solution to my camera situation. Or my camera dilemma, I guess you'd say. All the cameras that I mentioned yesterday are now out. Sort of. Um, I spent hours yesterday watching YouTube videos of footage that people used, um, spec videos, unboxing videos, pros and cons videos of as many cameras as you can believe. And... Uh, Basically what I found out was um, I had narrowed it down. I was going to get the uh, Canon Vixia R700. That was really what I wanted. And then right before I uh, told Santa Claus that that's what I wanted, I realized that that particular camera has a counterpart that is Wi-Fi ready. If I do that one, it's, I think it's like an extra 50 bucks. Um, that one's called the Canon Vixia R70, and that has 16 gigs of memory, or you can get the 72 that has 32 gigs of memory, um, and you can also put in an external card, so either one will work for me. Um, but that has a Wi-Fi connection, so I can actually upload all my footage through the cloud onto my phone. I can keep using my phone. I can use both footages, edit them together. I think that's going to be the solution for everything. And then I just got to buy that wide-angle lens for like 20 bucks, and... Uh, I'll then be able to take this new camera out, get really great outdoor shots, have this uh, phone camera in my pocket for when I'm trying to be discreet and covert, like a spy, and uh, I think that might work. I'm going to keep researching it for the next day or two, just so if there's any little things that I find, I can figure out whether that's going to uh, be a, a deal breaker or not. Um, but... So far, all the videos that I've seen that people had complaints, really, um, their complaints were either things that don't bother me, things I didn't notice, um, and even after they pointed out, I looked and I go, yeah, that doesn't bother me. Or, basically, um, if, you know, they say like, well, the, you know, the only thing that they negatively could say was because they already had the, uh, what's called the Canon GX7 or G7X, they're used to that, and so anything below that is going to be a downgrade for them, but they were pretty happy with it. Um, and without going to like an SLR camera, this is probably the best shot I have, and I think you guys are going to notice it in the footage. So hopefully Santa Claus will be nice to me this year. Hopefully that's what I'll decide on. And uh, exciting things ahead. I'm going to get my shower and we're going to get out of here. Look how foggy that is. It's so foggy I can't see anything. I mean, not directly in front of you, but in the distance. It's just a blur. It looks like smog. It's so thick. We're heading to Orange County. Santa time. Now generally this is something I would have never ever thought I would have ever done, but I have such a love for dogs after having jaw that it like it sounds like such easy money and so much fun. Why not? Maybe I'll get to the Christmas spirit some more. I love Christmas, so. Well, I just got my explanation for why it's so gloomy and cloudy. Can you see the sprinkles that are appearing on my windshield? It's starting to rain. Santa in the rain! Oh, and also, if any of you um, are subscribers to CISO, please go watch my friend Joey Diaz, Joey Coco Diaz, new special. It's called Socially Unacceptable. I owe Joey more than I can ever repay. Um, when Shelly died, I hadn't started acting yet. I wasn't doing anything, and I heard Joey's podcast. I sent him a message and just said, you know, like, I don't really know what to do with myself, but I want to be an actor. Where do I start? 
and he got me started. He told me everything I had to do got me started, and because of him, that's why I'm on the path of independence that I'm on. So, please go watch Joey Coco Diaz. I personally think he's, along with Bill Burr, the funniest person alive, easily. My favorite comedian alive. Remember that time we went to the Nixon Museum? Here's a golf course built on a, like a retirement home community. It's basically, I think these people just retire, play golf forever. I don't know, I never really, I've tried many times, I never really could get into golf, never could. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> We've got mail, and the mail got delivered over here. So let's check this out, I'm pretty excited. Alright, this ought to be great. What a fun little toy this is going to be. Sweet! We have a little drone that we're going to mess with and see what we can get out of it. One of, the, uh, one of our awesome viewers was nice enough to uh, see that I mentioned I wanted a drone and said, hey, I'll send you a drone so you can mess around with it and get started and kind of figure out what you're doing. So... We're going to take this thing out after I get done with working and we're going to see what we can do with it. We're going to get ready to charge this thing and let's check out some of the features what we got here. Oh, well, this ought to be fun. Well, we're going to, uh, we're looking over everything. Everything looks awesome and even all the way down to a little view screen. Check this out. I can get it open. I just had it open. It's got a little shade guard, which is really cool. So we'll be able to uh, see what we're doing. God, so cool. Thank you so much. Just to let you in on what, what I really wanted a drone for, when I mentioned like there's something I really want to do, I want to go to Neverland Ranch. Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch, and I want to I want to send a drone up over top of Neverland Ranch. That was what I really want to do with it. So, if this thing will do it, and if I'm pretty convinced I won't lose it, we might go do that pretty soon. Check out that. That is awesome. Definitely need some air in the tires. If it's that old, I'm sure those are probably original tires. <laughs> Kidding. Look at the front windows. How they pop out like a regular window. Well, I'm pretty much dressed. This is uh, this is my Santa suit, my hat, <laughs> my beard. Let's finish it up. <laughs> you know what's funny is when I was younger, I actually had blonde hair that looked kind of like this. If I can find it, I'll post a picture of it. I I met Rivers Cuomo from Weezer, and uh, I have a picture. I had been in a concert rocking out, and my hair frizzed out real bad like this. Oh, I think I'm supposed to put this on first. I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? No, oh, I know. I'm an amateur at this. Yeah, total amateur here. Well, Santa has to go through a lot, I'm telling you. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! There we go. There we go. That's a professional right there. All right, I'm on my break. I get 15 minutes. I gotta throw another shirt on. I've sweat all the way through the shirt that I'm wearing. Less than an hour left of this. It's not a bad gig, it's just a little hot, and I'm actually having fun with it. And Ja already came to visit me. Okay, so we're gonna give this a try before the sun goes down. Rex messed with it a little bit while I was working, and uh, I haven't messed with it at all. He's read the manual, I haven't read anything, so he's gonna kinda help walk through it, and we'll just see what it does. We start out with the drone, 
That's the main power switch right there. Okay. You always press that one first, the lights will come on. This is the main power switch for the remote. Okay. It'll beep at you twice. But that doesn't turn the screen on, right? That does not turn the screen on. You turn okay. the screen on here. All right. Okay. And now we're getting live footage of the drone. Wow. How cool is that? I'm pointing away from you. That's what I can't yeah, see. yeah. Throttle stick here. So okay. All the way down, all the way top, all the way down. Okay. That'll stop blinking. You're now in paired mode. Okay. 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 That's easy. So you have to do that every time. Okay, you press the autopilot button, everything will start spinning. Okay. okay. Now, you push this throttle up to lift it, and it should basically stay where is it, it is. Where's that at, a bottle? A bottom uh, throttle? <clears throat> Get it to the point where it's capable of hovering without drifting. Okay. And so, for, you know, uh, up and down, if it's drifting on that one, you'll hit, hit that. If it's spinning, you'll hit, you'll do this. If it's moving forward or backwards, you'll adjust here. Okay. And if it's moving this way, you'll adjust here. And once you get one to land, you get it down close to the ground. You press autopilot again, and it'll just right down on the ground. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Let's try it. Right. Let's do it. So we're recording video. Okay. And autopilot. Again. Autopilot. One of the blades is turning, so sometimes you have to get a little, little nudge. Shaw, stay away, bud. Watch out. Okay, well we're watching some of the footage. It's a little bit grainy, but not too bad. It's uh, I'm sure I can find a use for this in some way. Definitely can't use the audio because it's just nothing but blades and probably won't need that anyway, but... Well, since I'm going to spend the night here at Breck's house, um, and I sweat all the way through both shirts that I was wearing with that, uh, the pillow and the Santa suit, I'm going to do my laundry. Now, in one of the, uh, the more ridiculous things I've ever done in my life, since I don't have another shirt, I, um, I just took my winter coat and, uh, just put that on with no shirt on underneath it, and, uh, I'm going to do my laundry, and, uh... We actually have to go to the grocery store, so I guess I'm going to have to go to the grocery store like Fonzie like this, so. I don't know. It's probably first. It's definitely the first time I've ever done anything like this, but probably not the last. The plus side to hanging out at Breck's place is that people have homes here, and they actually decorate. I'm going to hang out at Breck's, and uh, he's got two extra rooms. I'm going to sleep here tonight since I have to work in the same exact area tomorrow. And he's got his uh, Christmas decorations all fired up. As well as some, I don't know if he thinks he's opening a disco with those lights, but looks good. Good job, man. That thing is uh, bigger than me, actually. Oh, look at this. He's got a choo-choo train, and I don't know where on earth it bubbles for Christmas, but I guess it's... Uh, it's a nice uh, stand-in for the snow. Look at that. 